Welcome back to the Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles channel. Today is October 24th. Uh, it's 10 a.m. I just came from my bank, deposited my change from yesterday, and the teller had just received, I think the person before me, $189 in Ike's. I checked, just like this, I viewed in here and I did see a proof. Um, I don't know what happened to that. But I saw a proof. That one looks silver right here. It's like a, I think that's plated. Looks like a plated 1978. Um, like I said, I think I saw a proof in here. And then they said they had more. So this was 189. And then they had more, which is 217. So I had $406 in Eisenhower's. And I am going to hunt these. That one looks silver. I wonder if that's an S. That looks silvery, doesn't it? Let's drop that. I think, I think that's silver. Is that an S? That look like an S to you? Yeah, buddy. That's a 1971 S. We got silver. All right. I was thinking that this bag right here could be mine. Right there, what's that one too? Right here. That one also looks silver. Holy crap. We have another silver in that bag. Sounds silver. Wow. All right. I'll take those. So let me uh, separate these. I'm going to try to do this bag by itself and this bag by itself and uh, see what we get. I'll separate them by dates and then I will hunt them and I will bring you back in just a second. Let me pull back a little bit here. All right. Be right back after I separate them. These ones look like they're in nicer condition. This one down here. All right. We'll be right back. All right, bag number one, we have a 1974 proof, a 76 type one proof, 76 type two proof, 77 proof, and a 78 proof. Those are all clad. <clears throat> I have a tower of 1971s and a couple 71 Denvers, a tower of 72s. Hopefully we'll be able to find the type two. A uh, few 72 Denvers, one 1973 Denver, which is fine with me. These are under 2 million minted for the 73 uh, Denver or Philly. So I will happily take that. It's actually in really nice condition for a circulated Ike. I have some 44s, a couple, I'm sorry. 74s. Why is this down here? Did I put those down there? This was a type 2. Okay, that goes here. Okay, a couple of 74s, 74 Denvers, a massive pile of type 1 Ikes uh, Bicentennials. I had like four, I think four, six, five um, type 2s. A few 77s, a couple more 77 Denvers, some 78s, and a few more 78 Denvers. So I'm going to put these in a quarter box right here, and then I'll get into the other bag. I'll be right back. So I have to hunt these. This is just the separation. All right. Here's bag number one. Sorted, so I have 71, 71, 72, 72. The 73 and the proofs are right there. I have 74, 76s. Right here, there was a ton of 76s. 77s and 78s. Let's get into bag number two that had some silver in it. Let me uh, sort these and I'll be right back. I want that focus down there, huh? There we go. All right, I'll be right back. 
All right, bag number two gave us those two silvers. I thought they'd be more, but we got silver. We can tell. You can tell by the, I don't know what the sound is there. And we have a pile of 71s. Only like three 70, oh no, there's five 71 Denvers that we can look for the Happy Eagle. A lot more 72s, which we can look for the Type 2 Reverse. 72 Denver, no 73s. We did get a good amount of 74s, a few 74 Denvers, a couple 76 Type 2 reverses, and a massive amount of Bicentennial Type 1s. Uh, 77, 77 Denver, 78, 78 Denver. So let me get these in the box, and I can start the hunt later on. I'll be right back. All right, let's get this Ike hunt started. We'll start with the 71s, move on to the 72s. Obviously, I only have 173. 74s, 76s, 77s, and 78s. I will bring you in with any of the finds. Let's get it going. Out of the first batch that I grabbed, the first coin, we've got a DDR. Uh, let me shut this. There we go. We have a DDR. E pluribus is thicker. You can see the notching. And the star right here. So we definitely have a DDR and extra thickness in E pluribus. So I will have to look this up. The dots are thicker and it's more spread out. FG looks fatter, but you can see the dots are definitely elongated. So we'll put this one to the side. Let's keep her going. All right, I'm on the third handful of 71s. One, two, this is part of the third here. Uh, double die reverse, this is a possible peg leg. But what I have under the scope right now appears to be a 71 DDO. So you can see the notching in the I and the N on the lower portion there. Down the lower portion of the T and the R. And then let me get a let me get one to compare it. Let's see if I can just kind of toss one next to it maybe without it falling over. So see the G and the O compared to this G and the O, it's hard to see it. This one's a little bit more elongated, stretched out. Compared to this one, it's thicker, but I think we've got a DDO here. Out of all the ones I've looked at, this one looks strange. So I'll hold this one aside, keep it going. I'll be back with the next find. All right, 71 fillies are done. We have, like I was saying, possible DDOs, three of those. This one here, I think, could be a peg leg, maybe. It's very, very iffy. And then I had um, four. DDRs in the word pluribus and then the stars. Uh, some of the S's have some notching in them. You can see the notching there at the top of that S. So we've got some double dies. Is that notching at the bottom of the S there in the top? Bottom on the top. 
extra thickness. And same here. Some weakness in the S's. So we got those. Next up, we're going to be doing um, 71D. And I believe those are where you can find the Happy Eagle. So let's get into it. I don't have that many, so it probably is not going to happen. But we can still try. 71D yielded squat. Now I do have a lot of 72s fillies and hopefully we can find a type 2 reverse. That would be awesome. Let's get into it. I'll be right back. You guys are never ever going to believe this. First 1972 filly under the scope. We've got a type 2 reverse. you got to be kidding me. And it's in great condition, too. Let me check the obverse again. I was looking for a DDO first. A little nick there. Look at that. Man, I hope that's a good sign. Look at that. So normally there'd be islands either here and, and moving to the right or here and a little bit over to the left. But this one has nothing. Let's check out. I'll just show you from here. It's this coin here. Flip it over. Zoom in. There it is. Type 2. All right. Let me keep going. See if I can't find another one. Working on the second handful of 1972s. I got a, excuse me, type 1, type 3, type 2. I think this one we may have a DDO. You can see a little notch right there in the R. Shows a little notch on the T, but this one's pretty beat up. So I'm not seeing it there. Doesn't mean that it's not there, but I don't see it. But I think we have a DDO. So I'll hold it aside. Let's keep her going. All right, I'm still working on the second handful of 72s. And if you look here, I can't find this. I checked Variety Vista. I checked uh, Wexler's. I checked the Ike Group. But I have notching right here, right here, right here. I have notching right there, right there. Little bit right there, possibly right there. You can see it on the U right here. Um, check out the number one, it's like tripling almost right here. The seven is cool looking, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think the L for Liberty. Looks like it could be doubled. Possibly that B. The E looks fatter down the bottom. So I definitely uh, is doubling on the back side of the R. Right there. I don't know. I don't know what we have here. But it's definitely a double die. So well, I'll hold that one aside. That was pretty cool. Let's keep it going. Working on the third handful. I have a 1972 under the scope. And I believe this is Variety Vista's number two, DDO number two. We got some notching here. A little bit under the one right there. And if I take this W... You can see notching right there, right there, right in here. So I believe that is DDO number two. So let's keep it going. Hopefully find some more stuff. Still working on the 1972 Phillies. 
fourth handful, 1972, and I believe I got a strike through right there. If I wiggle this around a little bit. Don't see any raised metal. I think that's a strike through. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's keep her going. All right, I just finished up going through the 72 Denvers. I think we have a couple DDRs. This one here is like a very late stage, but there appears to be some notching up in the top of the letters here. Um, it's very difficult to see. A little bit of extra thickness in E pluribus. See like the top of the A, how it dips down a little? So this is possibly a DDR. Same there. Um, it's not a great view. I'm not sure 100% on this one. So we have that. <clears throat> this one here. This one matches up with one similar to this. Again, they're dipping right here, 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 there. Pretty much the same all the way around. Not good examples, but potential DDRs. That C is definitely elongated. E pluribus is slightly thicker. One dollar is thicker. So those are possibilities there. Uh, these down here are DDOs. So you see the doubling in the one right there. Not much in the word trust. That one's a minor one. Same thing with this one here. We have some doubling in the one right there. Not much in trust, but this one here is really good. So you can see the doubling in the R right here. The T is like tripling right there. The R up here. Um, very difficult to these are pretty circulated like the i and the n there is no listing for this either the i the n you can kind of see the line coming down this way same thing kind of with the g and the o you can see a line right in here a little bit down here a little and then check out this one look at that that's like tripled or quadrupled right there. So, get that one. Possibly a notch in the two right there. So those DDOs. And then down here are possible peg legs. So one here. So the R, it doesn't flare out. That's possibly one. two and three let me get another 72 here and kind of see see how it flares out down the bottom and those three didn't do that so we have a couple of varieties there 
Now I have to get into the 74s. I'll look through those. I'll be back with any finds. All right, up next, I'm going to be working on the 1974 Phillies. I don't believe there's much to look for, but see if I can't find something. I'll be back if I do. All right, still working on the 1974s. I have one under the scope with possibly a very, very minor strike through right there between the one and the nine. So it kind of resembles almost like the one that was on the 1972 that we found. Let's keep it going. Bring in with the next find. All right, so here's our potential finds for the 74. Aside from that strike through, if we have any kind of um, possible double dies. So on this one here, you can see it right here in the U and the G. Um, not really seeing uh, right there in the R. Sorry about that. That's my washer dryer. A little bit in the T right there. Uh, in the D. Kind of extra thickness up here in the W. A little extra thickness in the one there. So that's possibly a, a double die. This is the next one. So you can definitely see it right here in the U. It looks some a couple of lines right there. That's really all I'm seeing on that one. I don't see much else. Possibly a little extra thickness in the one, but nothing crazy there. And this is the last one. Possibly again in the U. Top left of the R, maybe. Uh, this one I'm probably going to toss back. I don't really see... I don't really see the lines in the U there. I'm going to put that one back. Okay. Let me get into the 74D. I'll be right back. All right, just pulled out the pile of 74Ds. But in the 74 pile was this 74D. And it's actually in really nice condition. But if we put it under here and we check out In God We Trust, you can see notching in the U right here, right there, notching in the R notching in the N. This is definitely a double die. A little extra thickness in the W. It's notching in the 1 right there. Uh, so we definitely have 74 D DDO. I'm not sure if it's recognized or not, but it's definitely doubled. Yeah, you can see at the top of the N and the I, notching, notching, and notching right there. So I'm definitely holding that one aside. We'll see how common it is when we get into the rest of these. I'll be right back. All right, working on the second 74D out of this pile. And we have a peg leg. So it comes straight down, straight down. So that's been abraded away. That's definitely a variety. Let's keep her going. All right, not too much in the 74Ds. There were these other two here that um, we have kind of a clash die. Not kind of, it is a clash die. You can see the clashing right in here. Then it comes out here. Let's see it right like that. Come down this way. Not much going on there, but then you can kind of see, where is it? Yeah, it's tough to see here, but Ike's head kind of comes this way and then back up around here. <clears throat> Here's a second one. Clash, you can see right there is very strong. 
and then underneath right here we come back over here and you can kind of see Ike's head in this one kind of comes right down there so I'll probably hold on to there's a little bit of the clash right there too I'll probably hold on to this one and let the other one go Probably, well, maybe I'll, I don't know. For now, I'll probably keep both. See if that mark is under this. No, I'm gonna send this one back. All right, we get into the 76s. I just finished the third stack of the 76 Type 1 Bicentennials. I have one under the scope with a peg leg. So again, leg comes down, down, it doesn't flare out. So we'll hold this one aside. I have one more stack to look through. I'll bring you back if I come across anything. All right, the only other thing out of those bicentennials was this grease strike here. But we have some missing letters. The I is almost gone. The Y of Liberty is almost gone. Uh, the I and the T of Trust are almost gone. So that's a pretty cool find. I'll put that one over here. Let me get into the 77s. Let's see if we can't find something. All right, 77 Philly, I believe, gives us one find. You can see is um, notching right here in that U. When we come up to this E, we've got a little line right here. So I believe we have DDO number one on Wexler's. That's a find. Let me get into 77 Denver. See if we can't find something right back all right the 77 D produced one find we have a peg leg again it doesn't pull out it comes down straight we'll put this to the side let's keep her going all right we're winding down 78s after this we get 78 D got some nice keepers over here and then a bunch of varieties. I got a 72, type 2, and then a whole bunch of varieties double dies, peg legs, there's all kinds of stuff. All right, um, type 1, bicentennials. So let's keep this hunt going. Hopefully, we'll find something else. All right, that does it for the 78 D's. And our hunt. Let me show you what we have. First one, we have a peg leg. Second one, we have a better peg leg. And this one, another peg leg. So it kind of goes, this one is probably not the best. Better in terms of peg legs. And then this one is the best for a peg leg, but this particular coin has the appearance of it was polished at one point, it looks like. It's kind of shiny. Yeah, it has that. You see it here under the scope. It's got like a weird shine to it. See it here. But, definitely a pretty significant peg leg. It's too bad it's polished, possibly. Like if you see it compared to these. That coin, that coin. But, 
nonetheless peg legs and that does it for our hunt it was a bunch of stuff let me get out the best finds see if I can't stack them somewhere I got a lot of stuff going on right here um, let me try to clean up this area because those are just keepers those aren't varieties let me see what I can do here I'll be right back all right well that was a hunt and a half $406 in Ikes and we have a plethora of finds a ton of finds let's go down here I don't remember all of these but this is a 1971 DDR I have 1971 DDO I have a 1971 peg leg 72 DDR 72 DDOs, 72 Denver peg leg, um, 72 Denver DDR, 72 Denver, those are possibly peg legs, I'm not sure, or this is peg legs. Stop it. I have 1974 DDOs. 74 peg leg 74 that one was the strike through right between the one and the nine is it I don't see it there maybe it's this I don't know where it is where is it I think it's that one anywho we have a whole bunch of finds down here I can't remember them all. We get a uh, strike through here. Um, a whole bunch of type one bicentennials. Then we have our proofs 74, 76, 76. I have a type one and a type two. 77 and a 78. Now, here's the kicker the beginning of all this. I thought these were silver. They sound like silver. Um, but they only weigh 17 grams. If I show you 17.3 or something like that. 17.4 on that one. And... 17.8 on that one. So these are counterfeit. Those are counterfeit Ikes that look like silver. Which is still fun. I don't care. I think that's kind of neat. Never found a counterfeit Ike before. And we did get a 73. 1973 out of Denver. But the winner for this hunt is the 1972 Philly type 2 so we have the earth with no islands so that's a sweet find in like an MS I want to say it was like a 63 or an MS 61 something like that it was still a hundred and seventy five dollar coin and this coin is actually in fairly decent condition like a little nick here and a nick there so it definitely wouldn't 65 um, but it's actually a, a really nice looking coin very happy with that and that's our hunt there's a lot of ice to go through and just this coin alone I'm stoked about all the proofs the 73, unfortunately those aren't silver. Um, these DDRs for the 1971, some DDOs, DDRs on the 72s. We did all right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna um, kinda finagle through here, pick out the best and probably return some of those. Um, these are all going back here. That's a lot of Ikes. 
Um, but there, there we have it. It's a lot of stuff. Bunch of finds. Really fun hunt for me. Just kind of bummed out about these. I thought they were silver. Like I said, they sounded silver. I can't really do a test here. Um, but when I picked them up right here at the end, I was like, oh, those sound, I feel light. And I weighed them and they are counterfeit. So that this one here, one of them, if you flip it over, it's off. And then let me see, I think this one was okay. I don't remember though. All right, it's not. That one's good. Yeah, this one here uh, is way off. So, but I hope you all had fun. That was a sweet hunt. I know some of you guys don't like Ikes, but I love them. I think they're great coins, and we had a really good variety here. So, if you did like this hunt. Even if you didn't like the hunt, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down right here. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I try to put out content every day. I try to switch it up. Um, try to show you something different. If you do enjoy the content and you have just subscribed, please be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. I want to thank you all for watching. See you on the next one.